you ever watch a baby being fed? You can see how completely we depend on others when we're very small. A baby just can't do much of anything for himself. Of course, as we grow older, most of us begin to strike out for ourselves. We begin to develop something called self-reliance. Often, though, we're restrained. We aren't given enough freedom to develop self-reliance. It's much easier to put Junior's snowsuit on him than wait for him to do it himself. And before long, Junior sees too that it's much easier to let others wait on him. He begins to like being dependent. Why take care of your own pet if someone else will do it for you? I struggle with your lessons if you can get dad to help. This is an easy way to get by. The trouble is, if you're not self-reliant, you'll never do any more than just get by. Come in. I've been working on this uh, problem. I wonder if you can help me. Let's see. Look, why do you bother me with something simple like this? Something I'm paying you to decide. You'll never get ahead around here or anywhere else unless you can make some decisions of your own. Yes, sir. And that's what can happen when you don't learn self-reliance. Mr. Carson, are you trying to tell me that I'm not self-reliant? Why, Alan, I didn't say anything about you. Well, I find it often helps to paint that picture for students like you who come to me complaining that they don't feel they're accomplishing much. A little dose of self-reliance can do wonders. Any one of us could use a bit more than we have. All right, Mr. Carson, I think I understand. Just how do you become self-reliant? Oh, you, you want a quick, easy formula, eh? <laughs> I'm afraid there isn't any. Learning to be self-reliant takes time and hard work. It takes self-reliance, Mr. Carson. <laughs> it almost does. Here, this card may interest you. These are the steps to self-reliance as I see them. Assume responsibility, be informed, know where you're going, Make your own decisions. I'm not sure I understand. Well, let's figure them out together. Sit down. First, assume responsibility. What do you suppose that means? Well, assume responsibility. That means to take the blame for things that are my fault. Uh-huh. Looking after your own schoolwork. Planning your own time. Depending upon yourself to be on time. On time. Boy, I'd better assume responsibility for getting to my next class on time. And Alan, why don't you assume the responsibility for figuring out what those other steps mean? Yeah, I will. That's a good idea. Thanks, Mr. Carson. Assume responsibility. Do things for yourself. Not a bad idea at that. What's the next thing on this card? Be informed. Well, it's easy to see why you should be informed in class. You have to get facts and information in order to keep up. <laughs> you have to know where to get information, too. But why be informed about other things besides schoolwork? Well, better get after the schoolwork now. Mom, do you think I look all right this way or should I wear a tie? Why, that depends on where you're going. Will you be expected to wear a tie? Be informed. What, dear? Oh, no, nothing. Uh, thanks, Mom. I'll figure it out myself.
Let's see. We'll go to the movies and then to Ann's house for snacks. I might meet Ann's parents. <whistles> Better wear a tie. Be informed. That can answer a lot of problems. Yeah, that's better. Are you leaving right away, Alan? No, Jack's coming by for me. Say, there's something that I've been wanting to ask you. Have you decided on what courses you're going to take next year? Oh, no. I don't know what to take, Dad. Jack's going to take American literature, and Eddie signed up for speech class. But I don't know what I want to take. Well, I hope you don't let your friends lead you around this way. What will you get out of these courses? What do you want to get out of them? If you know what you want in life... Know where you're going. Make your own decisions. What in the world are you talking about? Oh, well, I sort of want to develop a little self-reliance. Mr. Carson gave me this. Self-reliance, huh? Well, that's a good thing. Are these from Emerson? Emerson? Sure, haven't you read Emerson's <laughs> essay on self-reliance? I think we have a copy of it here somewhere. Well, I think you'll find it on the third shelf. Thanks, dear. The foundation of our way of life, someone once called it. Oh, yes, here it is. Self-Reliance by Ralph Waldo Emerson. I learned a lot from this essay when I was your age. Thanks, Dad. I'll read it. You may have to if you take American literature. I think I'll read it no matter what course I take. What about those courses, Dad? Will you give me a little time to think? I have a lot of work to do before I make any decisions. Sure. Oh, there's Jack. Bye, Mom. Bye. Yes. Right. Goodbye. Now, you may think that's the end of Alan's story. Actually, it's only the beginning. Alan learned very quickly the meaning of the steps to self-reliance. But it takes quite a long while to make self-reliance a habit. I watched Alan for several months. I saw how he assumed responsibility. For example, he took a job on the student forum and worked at it seriously. I saw how he kept himself informed. He studied hard, he read more than just the assignments, he talked to people and listened to them. He wanted to be informed and he never missed a chance to learn something. I saw how Alan found where he was going. He came to me sometimes for advice, but he never asked me to decide for him. He thought seriously about his goals, his purposes. I saw how he learned to make decisions for himself, always on the basis of the best information he could get. And then just the other day, at another student forum meeting, I saw Alan show how really self-reliant he has become. The students were quite upset about our parking situation around the school, but no one was able to offer much of a solution. That is, until Alan spoke up. Just what is the problem? Those who drive to school can't keep on parking in the street. I understand it's too narrow. That's why we've been getting tickets there. We'll just have to find another place for our cars and motorbikes. I've been looking into this. You know, since we got the new tennis courts, maybe the old ones just north of the school building could easily be made into a parking space. We could do what little work there is, and we could ask the principal for his approval. Yeah, but who? Will you ask him? Well, sure, if you want me to. I'll take on that responsibility. Okay, yeah, then you can get in contact with the meeting. Okay. Yes, sir. That was self-reliance, the kind we can all use. It's hard work to become self-reliant, but these are the steps. Assume responsibility, be informed, know where you are going, make your own decisions. Alan learned to do it, and he's certainly a happier and a better person for it. Will you develop the habit of self-reliance?